Hello, my friends, family, colleagues. Today we are going to talk a little bit about hair loss. I was asked to address this issue. So we are being hearing many different treatments. And actually there is also, like for anything else, one treatment, establishing the proper frequency. Now, why would hair be falling out? The problem is toxicity. You make environment toxic, you lose your hair. This is the most noticeable when, for example, when you receive a strong poison from chemotherapy. You lose hair on the whole body. Now, why do men use hair, hair much more than women? Because men's blood is more toxic. And I explain this when I speak about women's issue, which men usually don't listen to. And uh, I explain that women has uh, the advantage over men because every month they are throwing out a big amount of toxic blood. The more toxic their, their blood is, the more they are, they are going to lose blood during menstruation. They menstruate stronger. And uh, uh, then afterwards, the body rebuilds with fresh blood, which dilutes overall toxicity of the blood. Uh, this is also why men uh, who donate blood, they feel after donating blood, they feel better because they got rid of toxic blood and now the body is replenishing it with freshly made blood which dilutes overall toxicity. Now you can see how bad it is to accept a transfusion of somebody else's blood because you are getting toxins in your body and this should never be done. It's not necessary. It's, you can as well just use plasma and you don't even have to inject it. The absorption of, of plasma is very strong. You lose blood, you drink plenty plasma, I guarantee you next day your blood is going to be where it should be. It happens quickly. So, again, but this is something that is being discouraged because doctors are supposed to promote disease, not health. And this, all our schooling is about promoting disease, how to make the body sicker without people being aware of it. And this is by making them more toxic through medication. All the medication is toxic, especially antibiotics. So now again, going back to the hair loss. Women have cleaner blood. This is why they have stronger hair and less, they lose it less. Now what happens with women when they go into menopause? All of a sudden, the whole hair breaks loose. They get all these problems all of a sudden they cannot sleep then they get cold they get hot and why because now blood toxicity is increasing and they are not getting rid of it so now the whole body has to adjust to this toxicity it's a genetic adjustment this is why hormonally it changes it's all new genetic information reacting body is reacting to now increase toxicity of the environment where cells live. So it all triggers always genetic changes. And this is all the symptoms of menopause. Uh, my wife now is 54. She is just starting with menopause. And there is nothing else except that uh, she is just leaving little, uh, having little bit discharge of, of her blood occasionally and long for longer periods of time no proper period but absolutely no headaches absolutely no flushes because she's clean and she's drinking her plasma daily allowing her body to cleanse so her blood is clean and there are no problems no hot flashes no absolutely no changes in the way she feels during the menopause except that she is not menstruating properly. Uh, now, another question is, now how come that men get bold right here 
and usually in the back and all sometimes starts from here and goes to the back. Well, because when the blood toxicity increases, and it's usually because there is not enough plasma in the system, blood cannot cleanse if there is not enough plasma. The kidneys they cannot perform properly. So they allow more toxicities to stay, to second trigger, to mucosal tissue to clean the blood. Here you also lose quite a bit of plasma. So you increase the toxicity to the third level where toxicity goes out from the skin. And uh, as we have experienced, so people we visually and people know that to chemotherapy they lost all the hair because it's very strong toxicity of the body that now is being released through the skin as well and a hair falls because toxicity goes right when you are looking for toxins you take a hair and you analyze the hair you will know how much toxicity how much heavy metals you have or stuff like this because it is right there it comes out it goes into the skin goes into the nails now uh, when the blood is toxic uh, in third level that it actually cleanses through the skin now you will see very often other changes you see very often dark eyes or dark around the neck you get a darker under armpits or in prepucium wherever you sweat more because through sweat some of the toxicity is going out which means where you sweat more, more toxicity goes through. So it affects the environment of the tissue. And the toxin actually leave dark marks. Um, and if you wear a hat, then you are going to create more heat and more sweating underneath. More toxins start coming out and you start losing hair there more than on, in other places. It's not that the head is creating this, but your toxic blood in combination with head, bingo, here you go. This is why as the toxicity of the blood increases, then we see all these symptoms of the toxicity and one of them is loss of hair. And this is why it progresses older you get the more hair you lose because you are becoming more and more toxic. Now what also can affect this toxicity on cellular level, we know it is our emotions. And uh, look at American presidents. Every single one gets white hair in four years. Why? Because of stress, of the stress that they are exposed to and the stress is toxic energy, it's toxin. Again, we have to go quantum. On quantum level, where matter does not exist, it's all frequency, it doesn't matter uh, if our brain translates it into some chemical or some mineral or whatever part of uh, visual toxicity or if it simply remains in a vibrational for, form that the brain is not programmed to show it in any other way. So as energy, electromagnetic field, toxic vibration will have the same impact. So you can lose, you can get white overnight basically, and you can lose your hair rapidly also by being in very stressful environment. So this is another type of toxicity that will act on losing hair and we say oh genetic my brother my sister oh my, my, my father my grandfather well my father had hair my brother didn't my brother start losing and thinning hair very early and and uh, okay he always had but very thin on top also wearing hats so I wear hat I used to wear hat quite a bit also when I lived in Croatia, when I studied, I loved it. Uh, but I don't really like, even when I went skiing, too much heat, I was sweating too much, so I just put my band around the forehead to protect my sinuses from cold wind. 
and I was skiing with the hair exposed, steaming all because heat comes out of the body. Uh, but my luck was that I was diving a lot. Um, I spent, I lived 25 years on sailboat and first 10, 12 years I was diving daily, free diving, spear fishing, feeding my dog and myself. And this is why um, I was cleansing my blood constantly. And um, I had no stress because I disengaged from this society, uh, stressful ambient, I didn't have any boss. And, uh, you know, the, all this contributed for me being less toxic. And then later on, when I get toxic from drinking too much alcohol and still inc eating incorrectly, I found out this protocol of self-healing and I basically cleansed and I have no problem. My hair is still there as much as more than I would need because I have to cut it every two weeks. It grows fast when I use minerals when I'm using plasma daily. So there is no problem. Whenever we have a hair loss, it is not genetic stuff. It could be that genetically you have weak follicles because of how your ancestor ate, but should not affect you because kids, when we are young, we all have hair. No, very seldom you have a kid that has no hair. So you are clean enough. Now, if you maintain clean blood, you will not lose hair. And if you maintain your cool, if you don't get uh, psychologically damaged. So, it's very easy to recover hair loss also. Number one, cleansing the blood. Again, same protocol. Self-healing protocol. You learn how to cleanse your blood, not only on not only blood, but then on cellular level. And as soon as you cleanse, what happens usually during the first part of protocol, when you start cleansing, especially second part, when, when the cellular cleansing hits in, so much toxicity goes into the blood from your cells that you actually see more hair falling and people get afraid of, wow, I'm losing this hair. Well, because your blood became way more toxic than it was now when cells are throwing toxicity. So little patience, you continue with the protocol, the blood continue cleansing, your cells will get cleaner, less toxicity in the blood, and all of a sudden hair start growing back. And not only they start growing back, it may start growing back darker. I have a friend here from Texas, Carl, when he came here, he was white, he has long beard and, and hair, and it was all white, white, white. Now it's all yellow. It started growing back the color, normal color that he has. He is uh, now 60 years old. And all of a sudden, all hair became yellow and more and more hair. So you recuperate it. And he is still not eating correctly, but he is drinking water and salt. Even this helped him to recuperate hair. If he would change the diet, pure, he would be like a kid again. So it's all toxicity. And don't fall for these creams and, oh, I heard I put uh, shit on my hair it, and it will grow. There is all kinds of nonsense. You can suppress a little bit the toxic stuff by increasing toxicity on your, of your head, of your skull. Uh, from the outside, so then there will be less expansion. You, again, you are creating the self-preservation mode and everything stops. You don't grow the hair back, but it stops from uh, falling down because you have stopped the cleansing process. But this is not what you want because other things happen in the body wrong. The best is to go through the cleansing process. Go, cleanse. And after that, you, during the process, you may lose a little bit more hair, but after that, bingo, all comes great. But not only hair, the whole body, the creases start disappearing. You start looking younger. Uh, so why not? Why not to do the right thing? Why to play with symptoms? Why not to just help the whole body? 
and uh, uh, some say, oh, you shave and then it grows better. Well, you shave, you start sweating less, less heat. So less toxins come out. And of course, you have stronger hair. But if you let it grow and now when it's grow, uh, little by little, all again, it will start falling down because you have to basically cleanse the blood. Okay, that, that's the trick, cleansing the blood. It is so simple to understand every problem in our body once when we know what is actually going on. Unfortunately, in school we don't have this knowledge. We actually learn everything contrary to the truth. And the contrary to the truth, things are being promoted as the truth. It, as it is with anything else that you see around, same is it with medicine, even worse. Because medicine is used as a principal tool for controlling people. Make them sick, now they depend on you. Give them lies, so they get sicker, and they depend on you even more. Here, I'm offering freedom. So much freedom that even my necessity disappears. Once when you have this information, you don't need me anymore. Now you know where the problem is and how to fix it. You don't need doctors, you don't need healers, you don't need nothing. You just need to know the truth. And there is nothing easier than recover hair. Do the protocol, and during the protocol, take colloidal silver. Uh, when it's darker, not in the sun, but at night before going to bed, spray your head with colloidal silver. That helps the electrolytic process helps to faster detox, drink colloidal silver, the way how it's mentioned in protocol, you don't need big quantities, just do it properly so you have the highest absorption of it. And you will see amazing changes, but not only with hair, eyesight, skin, teeth, gums, receding gums that will stop, and will start rebuilding your gums again. Miracles, okay? So don't worry about hair loss. Worry about your health. You cleanse, your hair comes back. Thank you for listening. Love you all.